What's going on you guys? I'm Hunter coming at you again here in front of the zebra wall and if you couldn't guess by the title, today we're talking about the Luger pistol. This is a gorgeous example of an artillery Luger that was made in 1917 by DWM. Uh, does anybody remember that time when the guy from the Not Fucking Around Coalition was trying to justify his friend shooting a bunch of people at a protest by a negligent discharge? The rifle has fired. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now by trade, I'm a paramedic, and I cannot tell you how many times I have seen people shot with either a quote unquote unloaded gun, or they were shot while they were cleaning a gun. Now, when this gun was in service, the German military actually had a very a, a similar problem, albeit for different reasons we'll get into. This design was well before the era of triple safety Glocks, Smith & Wessons, and SIGs, where they're basically impossible to get to go off without pulling the trigger all the way to the rear. Um, this design dates back to 1893, uh, designed by a fellow named Hugo Borchardt and refined by a guy named Georg Luger. Luger. Um, this design, as you see it, was adopted by the German military in 1908. There were a couple of designs that come before that, but basically every Luger operates the same. Now, like I said, the German military, specifically police units that were a little bit lesser trained, were actually running into a problem with people shooting themselves while they were cleaning the guns. Now, like I said, this was for a little bit different of a reason than one might think, because this gun, in all of its variants, can actually go off while disassembled. I'll show you how. All right, you guys, just a little bit on how this gun works, first of all. Um, first things first, just remember our basic gun safety rules, this thing is unloaded. Now, the way this works, if you just if you didn't notice, this, this is what's called a toggle action. So this is recoil operated, meaning the recoil of the cartridge is what cycles the action. Now this operates basically at the as the on the same principle as your knee. So when your knee is isn't bent, it's standing straight up. It doesn't require a whole lot of muscle work to keep you standing upright. Well, same thing here. Um, the breech is locked because this is in a perfectly straight line, and when the gun goes off, it is locked. The barrel and the whole upper assembly recoils backwards, and you see these two little nubs right here. They smack into this ramp right here, breaks the knee joint, and allows the gun to cycle using the rest of the energy of the cartridge. Now, keep in mind your basic gun safety rules when I show you how to disassemble this thing. So, the first step is one, make sure your gun's unloaded. We already did that. I like to remove the magazine first, and you'll see why, okay? So in order to get this thing apart, you have to put your hands right here and you pull the action all the way to the back. Now, can you see how this might be a problem if somebody had forgotten to take the magazine out? Okay, keep that in mind. So you pull this all the way to the back, your disassembly lever comes down right here, you let the bolt all the way forward, and now you can remove this piece right here. And then the whole upper assembly slides off like this. Now, the way the trigger mechanism works is you have your trigger that pivots right here, and this little slot pivots downward, okay? And you have this piece right here. This little lever rides in that, and it takes the downward motion and converts it into side-to-side -side motion. Can you see that other piece moving right there? See that right there? Now, this is your upper assembly, and this is your sear. Now, we'll go to the range real quick, and I'll show you exactly where the problem lies. All right, so before I do this, we gotta go over some things. One, do not try this at home, okay? Now, I'm gonna explain this here in a minute, but the only thing that is inherently dangerous about this, doing this, is that the gun can very easily go off accidentally, okay? So none of the pressure bearing components are altered in any way. Those are still functioning as intended, but by disassembling the gun, I'm simply taking away its ability to unlock. So the upper half remains locked at all times. There's nothing that's going to explode. It's just extremely dangerous because as you'll see, it's very, very easy to get this thing to go off accidentally. So I'll say this again, do not try this at home, okay? I'm a professional, and we're doing this under very, very controlled circumstances, okay? So, take the magazine out. Pull the upper half off. Got a single round of nine millimeter. All right, here we go. 
just like in the video before, this is your sear right here. This is what the trigger acts on, right? Do you see why that's a problem? Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, I will say this again, do not try that at home, okay? The idea behind this video was to demonstrate just how far gun safety has come um, since the days of the first semi-automatic pistols, and I do hope you learned something about it. Um, if you like the content I put out, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Share this video with your friends. Um, help me grow my channel. Not only do I have some really fun videos coming up for you guys in the future, but I have some seriously big news that I look forward to sharing with you once, once it all materializes. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you on the next one.